all right everyone welcome back to the channel this is an update video on the BRC professional washing wax along with a preview of the spray wax video that will be coming in the future check it out okay guys let's jump right into it the reason for this update is because my hose reel had a leak in it causing my foam cannon not to draw the proper amount of chemicals we're gonna let you guys check that out in a minute stay tuned Oh yeah, don't forget, hit the like button on the way in, and if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe, and don't forget to hit the bell notifications to be notified when we drop new videos. Right here, this is my tripod broke, and the vehicle that I was supposed to be cleaning, I actually didn't record it, so I ended up having to do the test on my actual truck. So the foam cannon will be halfway halfway full when I start the video. By the way, that was an old phone I just had laying around. I couldn't resist, couldn't resist. I had to put it in the video. Okay guys, we're gonna put four ounces of car wash concentrate into the bucket. Instead of pouring the water in like we did last time, we're going to use the garden hose to fill the bucket. Check it out. This car wash soap definitely has a lot of lubrication in it. Take a look at all the foam that it's producing. You definitely don't need a foam cannon. You can use a bucket and your garden hose. Now that we got that over with, let's go ahead and start spraying some foam so you can see what two ounces in the foam cannon actually does when I don't have a leak. Check it out. As you can see, the drop in pressure definitely, definitely affected the first test, so it made it invalid. That's why I'm redoing it, so check it out. The truck is actually already clean, so I really don't need to wash the whole truck. That's why I'm only doing this back panel. So we're going to show you a little bit of the wash process. Right now, this is a microfiber towels. Just plain microfiber towels. We throw them in the bucket, get them nice and soapy, and we're going to go ahead and start washing it. Check it out. And if you're still tuned in, this is the reason why the first test was invalid on the first video was because the pressure was so low from this leak right here. So this is the reason for the retest. Check it out. Once the first microfibers are used, we'll go ahead and set them to the side and we'll grab some fresh ones and start over on the next panel. Check it out. All right guys, now let's get a close up. Let's see if this product leaves any residue on the vehicle, on the glass or on the panels. Check it out. And by the way, this is my new camera rig, so guys bear with me, bear with me. 
And guys, jump in the comments. If you like these type of videos, let me know in the comments so I can continue doing them. Let me know. Okay, that window test did pretty well. Let's check these panels out. By the way, jump in the comment section. Let me know what you think. All right, guys. We didn't drive the vehicle. All we did was use the blower. So right now, I'm rubbing, 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 trying to see if there's any residue on the vehicle. I did drive the vehicle off after this, but I forgot to record it. So right now, we're going to jump right into the spray wax. Stay tuned. But before we apply the spray wax, we just want to show that the panel is completely flat, except for right here in the corner. I'm going to show you in just a second. I'm going to go back right in the corner close to the tail light. It is a little bead in there, but the rest of the panel is basically flat. So uh, check it out. This is the spray wax concentrate that we have been using for several years. Today for speed purposes, we will be using the foam cannon to apply it. Check it out. Using this method, I like to leave it on the vehicle two to three minutes rinse it and then buff it out check it out Now that we thoroughly rinsed the vehicle, now let's see what kind of beating the product actually leaves on the surface. Check it out. Ooh, wait, look at those beads on that bad boy. Look at that. Check it out. Check it out. Okay, we've seen the beading. Now let's check the sheeting. And if you remember, this panel was completely, completely flat. No beating, no sheeting, it was just flat when we checked it out before. Check it out now. Of course, we're gonna go ahead and blow dry the vehicle, then we're gonna buff off the excess. Check it out. Okay, everybody. Jump in the comment section right now. Let me know if you like this product. If you want to see more videos about it, jump in the comment section right now. Let me know. Now you know I had to touch the paint to see how smooth it was. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. We'll get back with you in the next one. Peace.